Hey everybody, welcome back. On today's episode of Foodie Friday, we are making cheesy potato soup. And it's a, a recipe that's been in my family for a while because this card is looking rough. It definitely feels like a potato soup kind of day. I'm gonna go ahead and make some soup and you guys are gonna join me. First of all, what we need to do is peel and cut up some potatoes and then I also have to cut up some ham too because we like to put ham in our potato soup. I am not good at peeling potatoes because I just don't eat them very often. As you can see, I'm struggling. Our recipe calls for about two pounds of potatoes peeled and then cut into cubes. So these are russet potatoes. It calls for about two pounds of potatoes, but I'm not I'm not sure. I just kind of guesstimated. Usually when we make potatoes, when I've asked my dad about making potatoes, he always says he figures like one potato per person. I want leftovers. I have 10 potatoes. There's four of us here right now. There's a couple a couple extra servings, so that's good. Really do whatever is best for your family. The recipe will be linked in the description below. I can even put a little picture up of the recipe. Editing Alley. Put it here-ish. Thank you. Uh, so you can go ahead and pause the screen and if you're new here, hi, my name's Allie or Alec. I'm gonna finish cutting these up and then I'll get back to you guys once I've gotten to another step. So you guys haven't missed much. I'm just cubing the potatoes very poorly, but it won't matter because when we get the potatoes all cooked, they are going to be, some of them are gonna be mashed. See, like I'm just not even doing a good job, but it's fine, you're just gonna cube them. See. Just like so. Nobody make fun of my cutting skills, they're not great. I'm probably not even using the right knife, I know, but it is what it is. So, just cut them into cute little cubes like this, because when we put them to boil in the soup, they're gonna cook up a lot faster and they'll be easier to mash up when we actually get to that step. So, I'm gonna continue to go ahead and finish cubing the rest of these potatoes. Next, I'm just gonna put these guys on the stove and some water to boil, which calls for four cups of water to boil with some chicken bouillon cubes, and I think I let that cook up. What does it say? It says, cook potatoes in water and bouillon until some pieces are left. And then you add the cheese and lower the heat. Okay, so as you guys saw, I went ahead and put the cubed potatoes in the pan with four cups of water and four cubes of bouillon, chicken bouillon. But of course, you can use any sort of substitutes that you want to use. It's kind of vague, so I'll be more specific of how I actually do it in the description. And I mean, you guys are watching it now. So I think those are gonna boil slash cook for about 20 minutes or so. And then once the potatoes are mostly done, I'm gonna mash them up, but I think I'm also gonna put in the cheese. I, I have to put in cream cheese and then Velveeta cheese. Both are not my favorite type of cheese, but it tastes good in the soup. So anyways, while that's kind of cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some ham to put in the soup. Uh, we made a ham and we're going, to, I'm gonna cut it up and put it in the soup to make it extra yummy. Ah, this is scaring me. Ooh. Okay, my mom's not picking up, so I'm a little scared. One of my worst fears is um, is when the potatoes boil over, because it happens at literally every holiday that we have, the potatoes always boil over. So that's like my worst nightmare, is that it's gonna do that, because I guess I'm mostly afraid, because what if it boils over? You know the part where you go ahead and you like clean up the stove? I'm a terrified that I'm gonna start a fire when I do that, so. You guys tell me if it starts to boil over, okay? Because I'm gonna go ahead and just cut up some ham. 
pretend that everything's okay. When you guys make this soup, you guys can add in like loads of different vegetables. I went ahead and cut up a fourth of a pound of Velveeta cheese and cream cheese. And now I'm just gonna cube them because they're gonna go into the soup, which right now is just potatoes and water. But I'm gonna cube them up so that they mix in a little bit better. I think I'm gonna do them like small cubes as much as I can so that they melt easier. Now they're all cubed up. Okay, so currently this is what the soup looks like. Because I only have two hands, I'm going to go ahead and just do this. I guess I'll just, okay. Just going for it. So let me go ahead and kind of break it up. It looks really kind of gross, but I'm gonna keep mixing until it starts to look good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the ham and I'll check in then. So I went ahead and I mashed, I mashed some of them and that seemed to help to break up the cream cheese. The cream cheese is gonna take a long time to kind of melt in, but the Velveeta already melted in already. So yeah, you don't mash up all of them, just you know, I don't know, roughly some of them, just so it's not like huge chunks of potatoes. But this is where we're at. I'm just gonna keep stirring until, until it's done. And that is how we make homemade cheesy potato soup. I hope you guys had fun with me on this foodie Friday. I know it was kind of a little bit all over and I left you there for a second, but trust me, this soup is so easy, much easier than I thought it would be. Um, as you saw, I tried to call my mom. So anyways, I figured it out and it's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now and I'll see you guys in another video. Okay, bye.